What's up guys, this is Jeff with iDownload Blog. By now you've likely already seen Red Snow 0.9.9 Beta 1. It is the latest and greatest, most polished version of Red Snow yet, and it includes a multitude of new features. Now admittedly, some of the features are cooler than the other features, but I think I found the most compelling feature in the new version of Red Snow. It is the stitch option, and it's kind of flown under the radar a little bit. But basically, this allows you to personalize a firmware file with your SHSH blob so it's a self-contained file you don't ever need to use tiny umbrella you never need to edit your host file because this tricks iTunes into accepting the firmware file because the SHSH blob is baked right into the firmware itself hence the name stitching um, so all you need to do is click on stitch and then select your IPSW which is your firmware I have 4.3.3 right there so I've selected that and then you want to click local and there you can select your SHSH blob. You can, of course, get those from Tiny Umbrella or various other sources. You can get your SHSH blobs. Once you do, it's going to stitch the blobs to the firmware. And this is pretty neat how this does this. But it, it creates a whole new firmware file, a whole new IPSW file. As you see right here, blob stitching is done. Uh, and, and it creates that file in the same location where your original firmware resides. Now, just to prove that I haven't modified my host file or anything, I'm just going to open up my um, host file in Terminal, and you can see it's just the normal Apple DNS name. Uh, nothing funny here. Just to show you that I'm not trying to trick iTunes into um, you know, going to a different DNS server so that it can validate the firmware that it's no longer signing, that Apple is no longer signing. And here you can see I don't have Tiny Umbrella or anything running as well. So I'm going to go ahead and open up iTunes. My uh, iPod Touch is already in DFU mode, so I'm just going to select the newly created firmware right there, and it's going to go into the recovery of my iPod Touch. I didn't have to run Tiny Umbrella. I didn't have to run any TSS servers. I didn't have to edit any uh, host files. Just keep that in mind. This is a self-contained piece of firmware that I can always restore to no matter what. So that is just that's ridiculously awesome and I can't believe this flew under the radar like this uh, I saw the stitch mode earlier but I just never really thought about you know actually trying it out so I'm glad I did I'm glad Sebastian actually reminded me to try this out so now let me just point out that there is one downside to this if you have a device with a baseband like an iPhone or an iPad 3G then this will not work stitching mode only works with baseband list devices such as the iPod touch and I believe the iPad Wi-Fi as well so keep that in mind Fortunately, it looks like the dev team is already working on implementing this into baseband devices like the iPhone and the iPad 3G. So just hold your horses. It should be implemented in a future Red Snow update. So right now, the iPod is restoring. As you can see, it's almost finished with the restore process. Um, and of course, it is going to be back on 4.3.3 once this thing reboots. And here it is. There's the iTunes. And there you can see the device has been restored. So even though Apple is no longer signing 4.3.3, take a gander at this. Running on 4.3.3, no tricks necessary. So you know what we can do now? We can head over to jailbreakme.com and jailbreak this iPod Touch using the famous jailbreak me on 4.3.3. So just tap free, install, and there you go, folks. We're good to go. So this is a great new feature in Red Snow. Like I said, it's flown under the radar a little bit, but I highly, highly suggest you check this out if you have an iPod Touch or an iPad Wi-Fi. Uh, this is a great feature. Hopefully, it should be coming to iPhones with baseband's as well. So look forward to having that on my iPhone so I can restore at will with no tricks necessary. Folks, let me know what you think about this in the comment section. Are you willing to try it out? Let me know below. This is Jeff. What I download blog.